Hello everybody, Swift here again with another backpack bounce run and today I'm gonna do a run with the Reaper trying to do the puppets build. So uh, let's get to it. We found a cheap piggy bank early, very nice. We also found a wooden sword that I could make into a torch but I don't really care about it that much. Uh, maybe healing herb, that should give us a free win. Roll them and also found a banana that should also give us a free win. Um, yeah, I mean, let's try our best here with classic starting items. And we also found a wooden buckler early, which should give us a win against a ranger specifically. We could also go with spikes. Let's go. The build's a little bit all over the place. We're gonna go puppets defensive build. Super defensive build with puppets. And we're gonna try to win through fatigue by not allowing the opponent to play. But the new fatigue build, the new wave fatigue build. So theoretically, the wooden buckler banana regen combo should destroy this guy. Destroy, because they're just playing with a wooden sword. Easy enough. Are we live? Easy enough. This is a decent start, by the way, I would say. And we won. Nicely, nice. They didn't even touch us. Only fatigue hit us. So it's going to be a fatigue build. We want to find... Uh, the build is going to be very specific. We want to find... Um, what is it called? Uh, what are they called, man? Corrupted armors. Not corrupted armors. Corrupted crystals is what we want to find. We want to find as many corrupted crystals as possible. And then we want to find like wooden bucklers and shields and whatnot. So that opponents cannot really burst us down. Because burst is always done through weapons. And anything that's not going to be burst is going to die from the fatigue. Because I think fatigue beats most of the anti-burst builds. Uh, we're winning here because of specifically wooden buckler. This guy has three weapons and the wooden buckler alone carried us. Can I see how much this thing blocks? Is that a thing that you can see? 29 poison damage. Um, yeah, whatever. Uh, block? No, that is not a thing. Uh, yeah, the rest of the stats do not seem to be that either. Power heal. Yeah, we had also a lot of healing, by the way. Their damage never was able to do anything to us. Nice. And we found the first corrupted crystal for cheap. Insane! Insane! Corrupted crystal. Opponents, we're, we care about the very last uh, pip there. Every 5.5 seconds, inflict fatigue damage, which is a permanent damage that at nightfall starts doing even more damage. And uh, in case you don't know how fatigue works, every time it ticks, uh, first of all, I would like to get the garlic to counteract any vampire builds we might face. Um, and this should all be inside the poison zone, of course. Now, this should also be inside the poison zone, but that's not really easy to do right now. Roll them. And we found our buckler, and we found attack speed. I would say, let's get the fanny pack. And I do want the buckler with spikes. It's it's gonna be an early win. But at the same time, it's a bit too late. No, it's not too late for that. Why would it be too late? Just get another buckler. <laughs> and we got a heat build. We should easily have this guy. And especially now that we have the fatigue. So in case you don't know how fatigue works, fatigue ticks every time they get the fatigue stacks. Right now, they took one fatigue damage because this happened. Now it's gonna happen again, and they're gonna do take two damage. But when fatigue, um, the main fatigue mechanic kicks in, they're gonna start taking ticks even fast, right? So they're gonna take three and four, and then five and six, seven and eight, right? Because this, every time they get the stack, that's when they get the damage tick. You see, 10, 11, 12. It, it's not, uh, it, it doesn't happen every one second or every two seconds. It's every time you apply a fatigue stack, that's when the damage happens. And we found another spike. Field. So we're just gonna buy uh, this. And I would like to throw that into... Yeah, I bought the wrong thing. I should have bought that thing. Anyway, we're gonna go with... You get some attack speed. And you go here and get pushed to the left. Very nice. Let's go. Now this also activates. I was fast enough for that. Nice. And always buy a stone if you have the choice to buy a stone. There is literally no downside for that. I don't have inventory space, by the way. But it's okay. Uh, we should lose against this. This guy has a pan with a 10 to 11 damage. And also has triple poison, triple garlic, and banana. I think we're not gonna be able to eat through his shield. While he literally is gonna kill us through poison. Fatigue is not as powerful as 10 poison, not this early in the game at least. I'm gonna lose this fight. Fair enough, fair enough. They have a better start uh, than us. If one backpack for a cheap, that's very lucky. Let's get the spikes, throw this out, buy the shield. And now we get two shields. I don't really care about the region, I was just buying it early game. Do I care about mana? Or mana orb? Mm, you know what? What item does that even create? This thing, Magic Staff. Use 3 mana to deal 6 damage on t uh, damage and increase its damage by 2 until the end of battle. You know what, let's do that. Let's go... Why not? Why not? Why not go a Magic Staff build? Uh, buy the mana first. I don't even have a weapon yet. Buy the mana first. Let's lock that down to buy that too. We're gonna get shielding with... Wait a minute, should I maybe go Staff upon healing? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, this needs a Magic Staff anyway. Because this is heal, and I would like to play healing. Yeah, let's go Staff upon healing with the healing build. <laughs> I don't need mana, by the way. That's why I didn't throw the mana orb in. We should have this. I don't see them having that much damage. They do have a double stone build, okay. 
But we also have wooden bucklers. It only blocks melee attacks, which is two out of their four weapons. Yeah, we're playing this slow. Oh, yeah, we're winning this. They're not taking any life away from us. We have my four spikes here. And uh, when fatigue kicks in, they also are already poisoned. And now the fatigue kicks in, it's even better for us. Easy enough. Easy enough. Let's buy that. We found mana gain, which I think is important. So let's get the mana gain. I would like this to be like that. Nice. All of them in the poison zone. Uh, do I care about this? No. Do I care about garlic? Mm, I mean, I previously just stated that I do care about garlic. Let's buy another garlic. I don't care about region that much. Roll them. Found inventory space. Very nice. Found a poison. Also relevant. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, wait. 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 I can throw this in with this and also get the combo going. If I sell a healing orb, I would say... Oh, let's heal the healing orb. You go here. You go here. And uh, for this one specific instance, I would say let's not use this, but use this. Because this also seems to apply with the poison, so that's nice. That's very nice. And I would say let's go. I would switch these like... Yeah, that's better. So this touches more things. And this is still hitting three things anyway. I'm ready to go. This does not really fit. I don't care about mana right now. We don't have anything that spends mana, so there is no reason to have this in the fight. I'm gonna roll now for one. And found even more mana gain. Uh, do I care about this? More mana gain. Not... Oh, yes, yes, I do care about this, because we are gonna go with a staff one healing, and that thing needs mana. I also want to find more corrupted crystals, but that's pretty random anyway, so good luck with that. So this goes, we have five spikes now. In general, we're gonna be beating... Oh, we want to be able to beat all the weapon builds. And uh, we're most likely gonna lose against poison builds and uh, stacking of infinite things builds. And we got a cheap deck of cards, which is relevant. Let's go here. Let's go here, I would say. And you go here, I would say. First of all, I want to mention the following. This needs to... We need to reorganize just a little bit. Oh, yeah, now we can actually reorganize. You can go here. Here. Rotate around. Nice. This powers up everything. I would like you to go one up. If anything, I would like this thing to go down, down, down to somehow hit and thing in the corner. Or maybe it should... First of all, the weapon should be inside the poison zone. I need to reorganize. Reorganize time. Okay, I think we're good here. Uh, right now, the, the garlic is the only thing that's not touching the poison zone, but it's okay. Uh, let's roll into inventory space mostly. I want inventory space right now. And now we want to find more corrupted crystals and more... Um, and one potion so that I can get the staff one healing. So now this thing, every three mana, it does a little bit more damage and gets damage forever. We don't gain that much mana right now, but it's okay. At least we have some kind of weapon. This is a ranged weapon too, so there is no real downside at using it or using it. And this guy's dead. They already have five fatigue. They're gone. Easy enough. And we got the subclass unlocked. And the time has come to go for the Mr. Shruggles new build. This now has this... The thing that it used to have, every three seconds flick fatigue damage on debuffed. So when I get debuffed, 35% chance to inflict the same debuff back. So we're going to also now have some kind of counter against poison. As now if I get 100 poison, the opponent's going to have 35 poison. And when my health drops below 50%, the items connected to this, which are going to be two items, are going to get 50%, 100% more, more attack speed for 8 seconds, which is really good. And plushies are offered in the shop, which is the new th line they added. This did not used to exist, the plushies line. Uh, this boosts the item there. You go here, you go... Oh, you stay as you are. Nice, so we're gonna get Corrupted Crystal firing and Magic Staff firing. I'm gonna make this thing fire Corrupted Crystals twice, by the way. That's the main aspect you would like to have on this. Not something like that, for example. Uh, why is the mana... You know what? Something like this and this. And no, actually, this is better. Yes. Yep, that's actually better. Everything. We have all eight of the spots covered by a different item. Nice. On our blueberry, that's actually also nice because I want to be able to heal with the staff one healing. So let's put the blueberry in. Uh, right now, I would like to reorganize just a little bit. Zoop, boom, done. Perfect. So on our shield, on our poison, not really. I would like to get the better shields and the better poisons on this. Nice. Roll them. And uh, didn't find anything. I guess I could go for a Gooberit, to be honest. Roll them. Found the better shield. Found some and uh, But this is inventory space, mostly. I'm also thinking about Cap of Resilience here, to not take that much damage early game and not die from crits. I think... I'm, I mean, the idea is we go defense. So, getting Cap of Resilience and stuff like that is definitely important. Stop, uh, yeah, and also the Cap of Resilience plus... I need to find uh, the shield potion now that I'm thinking about this. And this is the Cauldron build. They are gonna lose against us. 
they're guaranteed gonna lose against us. They have six fatigue already, and we're not even in fatigue mode. They're gone. They're gone. They're gone. They're gone. Easy enough. Easy enough. One our crop to crystal. We buy that as is. Don't even think about it. And uh, you know what? Forget the actually shield of valor should switch these two our way. Four and four. Yeah, because this is 35% chance, chance for 35 chance to prevent 4 damage and remove 0 0.3 stamina. And this is 35% chance to prevent 12 damage and remove 0 0.7 stamina. Now, these can both trigger at the same time, and they also give a spike. They have more benefits, but still, this is better in my opinion, so we're going to go with the Shield of Valor. That's all this and this by the Shield of Valor. This also gives it more shield gain from the garlic, so wow. And uh, definitely buy both of these, and let's continue. I definitely, definitely want the Cup of Resilience. That, that, that's like the most guaranteed item. And this guy has a Stone Armor, which I also would like to have. Stone Armor too. Now that I'm thinking about what items are the defensive items. Now we do have three Fatigue ad additions. So as long as we survive here, this guy is bursting us down. Yes, we need the Staff on healing, man. We need more healing. Oh, we're dying. But they're also dying. Fatigue kicks in, kills the opponents. 12 Fatigue already, they're gone. <laughs> when Fatigue kicks in, they're dead. That's the guarantee here. I'm gonna guarantee. Let's go here. Let's also go resilience. I never want these to combine with anything, by the way. Roll them. Find our inventory space and find even more mana gain. And at this point, we have enough mana gain with this so that the Staff of Unhealing is gonna do its job. Therefore, we now want to get the Staff of Unhealing. And this guy should destroy us normally, especially now that I threw away the spikes that we had. Uh, but he had anti-spikes, so good thing I don't have the spikes anymore. Hopefully the Shield of Valor is going to protect us. Every time this thing blocks something, we're going to take zero damage. This thing scales, by the way, but it still is only doing 13. So we're blocking all of it. Still alive. Fatigue kicks in. Now is my time to shine. Fatigue kills them. Nice. Easy enough. I haven't found a single plushie yet, by the way. Here we go. First plushie. Every 3.5 seconds, remove one buff of each type from your opponent. And I also found the Staff on Healing. And I also found the... Sh wow. We found literally everything we wanted. This this whole shop is a buy. So we're going to begin with the Staff on Healing, is what I would say. And uh, the second thing I would say is we go with the Stone Skin Potion. So we get the, we get the level ups out of the way right away. Because this is more defense and this is my main weapon of choice. Also, I started believing they should go one spot up so it hits the main weapon I'm using. Although the main weapon is like 2 cent cooldown, but still. Nice. Uh, this is a blinding build, which we should have issues with. Uh, we're losing. Yeah, we're losing super fast. Unless Fatigue kicks in. And now they started losing very fast. Uh, go, go, go. One more Fatigue. Nice. Fatigue killed them. Did you see how fast we won through Fatigue, by the way? Yeah, we were Fatigue kicked in at 15. Fatigue kicks in here. They have still 100 health. And from 15 and 100 health, we do 100 damage within like 3 seconds. And we also died, by the way, but we still won. Ha ha ha. And within those 5 seconds, they can, they can we did 100 damage within 5 seconds and they didn't even do 50. Let's go on. We won the run. Let's now go for more. Oh, nice. We found our shield. That's super lucky. So this thing says, reduce damage taken by 25% for 5 seconds. So that's even more anti-burst and gain 20 shielding, and chance to prevent hint for being a critical is 25%. So this is also going to be anti-crit. And now we've got the staff on healing, so every 2 seconds heal for 13, use 6 mana for 2 seconds healing, it also does damage. Now I don't have that much healing, this is the only healing thing I have, but it's healing us, that's the important part here. Uh, I would go with Mr. Mrs. Struggles, so we remove random buffs. Let's go with more mana, so that the ability of staff on healing triggers more often. This is every 2 seconds, this is every 3 seconds, 5 seconds, so this should be here. Straight up. What does this do? Give me a second. What does the mana... I, I think I have the recipe anyway. Yeah, what does this do? Uh, shielding is more, whatever. For every 12 shielding, they gain, gain 1 mana, whatever. Prevent 12 damage, yeah, that's a very irrelevant thing. Very irrelevant. For any shielding I gain from that, like, who cares? The stone skin should definitely be here, though. And they should be here every 3.5 second move thing. We want the cavalry resilience again. I want my early game to be as protected as possible. So in the beginning, I'm going to take almost nothing here. Oh, it's a mana build. Oh, no. Mana vampirism. This is a mana vampirism build against the fatigue build. They just triggered their cold one already. Uh, we start losing life here. But we have healing from the staff on healing. So we're surviving. We're surviving. Uh, we are 13, 14 poison. They have more poison than us. We also take their buffs away. And fatigue sets in. This is my high ground. You're gone. You're gone. You're gone. Fatigue sets in, you die. Also, when I hit half health, this thing makes this thing fire fast. Yeah, this is every one second right now. 
And this also becomes, yeah, every 2.75. Yeah, that's the madness here. That we fire these very fast. I found a holy armor. Wait a minute, this combines with mana? Mana armor? No. No. Ah, oh, this thing. What is the mana armor? Wait a minute. Uh, we can find it under... Uh, here, this is it. So, gain 45 shielding, plus 20 for each magic item, which is specifically the stuff on healing, and every 3 seconds gain 3 mana and reflect to debuffs. It's really good. It's really good for us. And this is a magic item, right? Yeah, magic dark. Is this magic? No, just dark. Just dark. Uh, still, we have a magic item, so this is gonna give us a lot of armor right away. This is good. This fits the build. All of these fit the build. We're gonna go inventory space first, because we don't have inventory space. 5 plus 3 is 15. We will have enough. So you go one down, and you join. Um, this also joins. So I, I will do a reorganized time here. Okay, here we go. So this is buffing the two items that give us starting armor. So 55 armor here and 20 and 20 armor here. So that's gonna give us um, a sizable boost. Wait a minute. 55 and 20 is 75. 30% of 75 is about 20 armor. So this thing gives us about 20 armor just by existing. Does this work on the backpack? No, it does not work on the backpack. And we will still get another cap of resilience. Hopefully another potion. I think we're good. I think really good. I think we're basically stable right now. This is the wannabe cheat. We did this yesterday. They don't have the Excalibur. So they're just lining up the Excalibur build. They do have the mana gain. They do have the pan. They do have all of the things ready. But they don't have the Excalibur. We're gonna win here, obviously. We also have shielding here, which they didn't even eat through my shielding. They're gonna die from fatigue very fast now. <laughs> this would have been a legendary fight if they had the Excalibur. I would have liked them to have the Excalibur here. I'm also taking away most of the debuffs anyway, so we're super safe. They are reflecting and whatnot. Yeah, they're shielding. They have 50 mana. Would have been so nice having the Excalibur here. 43 fatigue on the opponent. Wait a minute, how did I have 20 fatigue and they only had 40? Doesn't matter, though, because my fatigue ticks more often. Uh, they survived with 3d2. This would have been such a legendary fight. We would have died from fatigue before them. 20 fatigue, 22. Wait, what? Why did they only... Oh, I take... Wait, why Why did I only do 22 fatigue damage here? What? That doesn't make sense. At 3d1 seconds and I only did this a small amount of fatigue damage. No logic here. 21 fatigue damage. And then a 22 fatigue damage. And they were doing 20 to us. Yeah, I, I miss what happened. Obviously, I did more fatigue than them. I did 400. But the thing is... I want to go to the 15 second mark to see what exactly happened. So at the 15 second mark, uh, wherever fatigue is, that should be at the 15 second mark right away. So... No. I'm gonna find it more below more. Stuff on healing, fatigue. So here fatigue kicks in. 10 damage. At 16 seconds, 10 damage. Yeah, okay. And their fatigue is... Less. And I, I can see it like this. So they do 2 fatigue right now. I do 12 fatigue. 13 fatigue, 14 fatigue. Okay. Wait, wait. 9 fatigue. Why? Explain. Explain what happened. Did they cleanse? What? Okay, so this is 12 fatigue. No, stuff on healing. 12 fatigue, right? Still 12 fatigue. Nine. Why did it go down? I don't think they have any cleansing. And I don't think you can even cleanse fatigue in the first place. Fatigue 12, 11, 12. They were doing to us. Six. Okay, up to this point it's okay. Remove more. Come on. 15, 16. And they were doing 12 to us. What? And to us? I don't understand, man. Let's go on. I'm, I'm not gonna care about it. You guys can come down below and see and tell me, explain, whatever. Let's go. So we got the Moon Armor. So this now gives us 45 plus 20 shielding from the other magic item we have. And then every 3 seconds we will gain 3 mana and also reflect 2 debuffs. Which is gonna obviously help us and protect us. Uh, is there any reason to have anything there? No, I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's uh, get this. Let's get this for sure. More shielding. Roll them. Ooh. Ooh. I don't think I need that much mana though. Let's roll them. And I found the thing I wanted to come with that. I also found attack speed to make this faster. And this for that matter. But do I want to make the stuff on healing faster? I, I think we have energy issues anyway. Let's put the attack speed here. And uh, yeah, we're good to go. I could have sold the regen to actually buy the stone skin and get the level up on the weapon. Doesn't matter. 
We are super defensive anyway. I'm not the most defensive in the universe, but we're still very defensive. Also reflecting debuffs, so that's nice. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We're about, we lost all our shield now, but it's too late for them. We have also anti-crits, so they're not gonna crit us that often. Reflecting the debuffs to the opponents. Trying to slowly take the debuffs away. By the way, I never found the second Mr. Struggle. Mrs. Struggles. We destroyed them. Very nice. But he kicks in. Four more runs to go. Found this for this. I can buy another one. I never found another one of these. Definitely buy that. And we found our Mrs. Struggles. Very nice. And energy. I enjoy what we got. I can also go with... Yeah, we're gonna just go for the Mrs. Struggles. And let's go. This is the next purchase. <laughs> And this should destroy us. This build should definitely destroy us. They have they have two times the 15% damage taken, so they're gonna take 50% 15% less damage when they activate their ability. And they also have so many spec colors. I just realized why fatigue was doing less damage. I got it, boys. I got it. I got it. Because they had the immunity thing. I now understand 58 crit there. They're gonna now always crit us. Uh fatigue is kicking and we lost. We lost. We lost. We're not good against burst. We're not good against burst at all. That was a very known fact from the get-go. We go here, we go another anti-debuff. Roll him. One more mana. Do I need more mana? I don't think I need more mana. I guess poison is a play. I can buy poison and mana for that matter. I could also go a defense is what I actually Whoa, here we go. What is this? Every 2.5 seconds use one luck to gain two buffs of the type of which you have the most. Do I have buffs like at all? I'm gonna try to buy this. Let's also get this, and I found the Corrupted Crystal. Let's go. Do I have buffs? Like, what? This guy, oh, if I level this up with this... Nah, I don't care about that that much. Let's go. <laughs> so let's see if I have buffs. I have two region. And mana. I don't think I have the luck. So I think the... Yeah, I'm not gaining luck. The only way I gain luck is now, now I just gain luck. So that would make my luck into mana, I guess. Because mana is the buffs I have the most of all the time. They have so much shielding. Oh, they, they are also fatigue build. They have more fatigue than us? How? What? How? Why did they have more fatigue than us? I They have two corrupted crystals and if... Ah, ah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. They have falcon blade. Yeah, this is a better version of the build. The weapon of chase from them, for them is falcon blade, so the fatigues trigger faster. Yeah, that's actually smart. And Mr. Struggles wasn't even min-maxed, and we still lost. Oh, they had Artifact Scone Cold. What am I talking about? Yeah, they... What? Yeah, we were playing against somebody that was gonna beat us no matter what. Unfair, but this what this. I don't think this fits at all. Uh, we're gonna throw one of these in. Region is irrelevant. Let's get more attack speed. Uh, on what, though? I would like to put the attack speed on that thing. Can I reorganize in a way? How will I fit this speed spotter? I have one spotter up there, that's how we're gonna do that. So, you go like this. this. And we push everything down. And now this has even more attack speed. And this still goes here. Nice, these get the, start, the buff. You can be wherever land, lock that in. Actually, these should be here. Perfect, more bananas. I don't think this fits. I don't think Misfortune fits, although we have three mana gain. This is gonna give us mana. One luck for two mana is what this is gonna do. I can try this though. I found more energy, a bit irrelevant, but at least inventory space. Two more runs to go. Let's see how this is gonna go. We have two misses on the buff. Okay, so we're gonna take all the buffs away other than the heat they're gonna generate because we're not gonna be able to eat the heat fast away. <clears throat> but mana and everything else they're gonna gain, they're not gonna gain. Okay, they're damaging us pretty heavily. I'm supposed to be good against them. They're also critting us. I'm supposed to have anti-crit, a lot of it, that is. And also, Shield of Valor should protect us a little bit. Fatigue kicks in. Now is our chance to shine. They're not getting buffs, honestly. I got my luck. And that luck is going to become mana. And we won. Whoa, such a race. <laughs> such a race. Such a race. Almost lost her at the end. Almost lost her. 465 fatigue damage. That's the main issue with fatigue builds, by the way. Late game, everybody is scale build. And scale builds destroy you if you're a fatigue build. And we found, by the way, a stone skin potion that I could combo here. But that's obviously not going to happen. Uh, the stone skin potion should be touching this thing. You should... Uh, not really possible. Not really possible. Unless you go away... Yeah, but that's also relevant because it's not gonna combo. 
Uh, the Stone Skull Explosion gonna pop right away because it says when you have at least 45 armor, and I guaranteed had at least 45 armor at the start of the game. You can go into another poison. You should go. You should go, man. Let's let's actually go into another poison. And if anything, I would say you go here. So this poison gets attack speed. You can stay, man. Jinx or Killa. You know what? Jinx is better than this. And I would like the Jinx to be hitting all the corrupted crystals. Sell this, get Jinx, and we're done. And we're pretty much done. Nice. So we have three room. The three room is what Torkilla needs. So Torkilla definitely can hit everything here. Uh, I, I'm just gonna reorganize the crystals a bit. For this to be perfect. Really aligned. This crystal needs to go down. Or the Torkilla could go here. Yeah, if I put the Torkilla here, it hits perfectly everything. The yeah, Torkilla is gonna go here. As simple as that. Yep, literally hits everything. Here it doesn't hit everything. I mean, I don't care about the second half of the board, by the way. Here it also hits everything. It doesn't hit this one, which I would prefer if it did. This corrupted crystal should go like here. Not like that. Uh, like this, I guess. And this food can go here. So right now I'm almost anti-min-maxing. Almost. But I am min-maxing the aspect of remove debuffs from opponents and uh, fatigue. Because that is the build. And also healing is also min-maxed here. Uh, we're not really min-maxing the mana gain, but I don't really care about it. I should care about it. But these have to stay here so they get more shielding. We're gonna get a lot, a lot of shielding. Also, I should be blocking literally all the crits. I have a 50, 50, uh, 25 and 15. That's 65% chance to prevent the crit and prevent the stun. And also prevent debuffs, reflect debuffs. We should have this. Let's see. Hopefully a heat build so we fight something awesome. Oh, come on, man. I don't want to fight this. This is stupid to me. By the way, we are literally countering the gin lamps. We are guaranteed countering the gin lamps through the Mr. Struggles. So they do not have a build. Also, they will never gain mana ever. I'm blind, but that's irrelevant to us. I don't care about blindness. We are reflecting the buffs, so they are poisoning themselves whenever they poison us. Blind is the one irrelevant buff for us, so who cares? I don't care about buff at all. Blindness at all. We won. We win this fight. We win this fight. They are trying to blind us. Because they blind us, they do more and more damage to us, which is pretty dangerous. Yes, okay. But they have energy issues because they're hitting into the Shield of Valor with double sword build. And they're dying from fatigue, and we won. Very nice. Very, very nice. Easy enough. And they had three glowing crowns. But we did not allow them to gain any mana because of the double misses struggles that had a 3 cent cooldown. This guy had a 2.5. 2.5 on the crystals. 466, 466. Wait, did I hit half health? Yeah, I hit half health. 0 0.92 on the healing. Nice. We won. Fatigue damage at the end was 325. I wouldn't suggest this build, by the way. I don't think it's a good build. Uh, but it's a build that exists, I guess. And also, somebody seemed to have a better build than us with the Frost Stone, though. It doesn't really count, I would say. But still, it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is pretty much the run. Uh, the Mr. Struggles, I have to say, this thing, if you haven't twice or three times, I would say, is a bit safer because I only had it two times. If you had Mr. Struggles three times, there are a couple of builds you straight up completely counter. For example, this thing. Or any other build that cares about getting buffs, you completely and naturally destroy with Mr. Struggles. Especially if the opponent hopes to get mana, you cut the mana down so much. Uh, every three seconds, we remove one mana from the opponent and everything else too. Like, they lose Vampirism instantly because Vampirism is not easy to gain. They lose Spikes instantly because that's also hard to gain. And Power is not a thing that they're gonna ever gain. Regen, uh, maybe if they play the Regen build, they're gonna maintain it. But otherwise, they won't. Heat is the one thing that's gonna maintain. That's the only thing they maintain. And if you have, like, four Mr. Struggles, most of the opponents are gonna be gone. I only had two. It's okay. I don't really... I didn't really like the, um, the other plushie. I think it's very lackluster. Mr. Mr. Struggles is okay, and the rest is just a build. Oh, of course, you can also do a different build. I tried to force Fatigue here, but you're not forced to do Fatigue, right? You can play a normal build with this character, a poison build or whatever you want to do, and then just throw in three and four or four Mr. Struggles and have Mr. Struggles mainly be used for the 100% faster attack speed play, right? Because you don't need to do this. You don't need to do full-on defense and defensive and defensive and defensive. You can just go full-on normal play. I think the Reaper is the weirdest class. As it's a bit all over the place, you either play poison or you play nothing, <laughs> I would say. I mean, let, let's actually quickly look into the class abilities here. The class uh, skill tree. Not skill tree, what is it called? Um, I know, the, the class... 
specific items. So, uh, not specific items, the class, subclasses, the subclasses. So you either go with this, which is a debuff build, so it's just a normal Chris Dagger debuff build. It's just a normal Reaper build. You play with the Dark Saber like the previous character played. Um, Nocturnal Locklifter is like a Vampirism build, so you just play a normal Vampirism build. It says that your poison also steals through Vampirism, but that's irrelevant because you have poison anyway in the build. This does not make you a poison build. Your healing is amplified, your weapons heal life. This is just a normal weapon build. Uh, Snake, this is the poison build. This is the go-to poison build, as this says that poison is protected from being removed, and also it inflicts poison, so that's yes. Mr. Struggles, once again, this is not really a build. It's, it's a fatigue build, so to say, but... You need to find the crystals, and fatigue can be anything anyway. And once again, because this says you get 100% attack speed at half health, that means you can put any items on that. You don't need to specifically put fatigue items on that 100% at attack speed thing. And the plushies are very um, random in their ability too, right? The one removes all the debuffs. Here you can even see them. The one removes all the debuffs, and the other one does almost nothing. So unless you have a build specifically for them... And then you have the cold run, which might be the most unique one, right? Where you play with potions. But that was very, very weak, in my opinion. Unless I played it wrong, which I did play it wrong because I didn't really have the vampire potions. So you need to be a bit lucky with the cold run for that to work out. I don't know. Agree, disagree? Comment down below. Tell me what your opinion is. I might be wrong, by the way. It's not always whatever I'm saying is um, gospel. But still, I, I do believe that these are not really that crazy powerful in comparison to the rest, at least. I mean, this thing gives you infinite luck and boom, you're in luck build. This thing gives spikes as poison. Boom, you're a spikes build. This is nature item and mana and whenever you use mana you cleanse debuffs and heal so boom you're a mana build crit build because this thing gives you a bunch of um crit chance and also you do more crit damage pets build you know you are a pets build and pets activate more often next pyromancer you're playing with dragons you're playing with ice you have a revive and this is useless you have two region and you gain region and you become super tanky and you don't lose the region and the opponent also loses their buffs and you go fire build boom you know very clear uh, indication Brazil Berserker. This is gemstones. This is um, mana build with uh, Excalibur. That's what we did yesterday. This is you crafting going to flames and then you find flame items and you're half a berserker, half a fire build. Like this is a, a very unique build. Uh, then we got Wolf Emblem with its pets again. And then we go Brass Nuggles, which is crits and stun build. So very, very, very clear. And then you got the Reaper, which is like you debuff the opponent, but that's it. You have vampirism, but there isn't really a vampirism build per se, I guess, unless you go the vampirism build, which this only gives you two vampirism, like it's just buffs. Poison, that's, that's the one clear indication. Fatigue, I would say, and maybe take buffs away from the opponent, so very defensive, whatever. And this is once again a very clear indication potion build, but it's like Laster. Um, and this also does nothing, like heal 10, gain 3 mana, gain 2 heat, very random stuff. Uh, in my opinion, very, very weird. I mean, in, in comparison to this thing, which literally gives you two heat and then also gives you luck and also gives you 15 region and also does 100 damage to the opponent and also triggers faster for fire items. Like it's, 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 I don't know. Comment down below. Tell me about it, you guys. By the way, if you get this thing with the Reaper, then you go the Vampirism build. Items gives 100% more Vampirism, attacks 5% for fast for each Vampirism you have. <laughs> but obviously you can get countered a million ways. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. That's going to be it. I'm not going to play the Reaper next time. I'm going to most likely play uh, the Berserker with the class I haven't used yet. Right? I think I haven't used this at all. The Anvil. Items craft generate flame. Reach craft item. The weapon gains plus two damage and uses three less stamina. So you full on play crafting build with this thing. And the weapon gained plus two damage and uses three percent less stamina. That most likely is going to get put on something that attacks fast. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna look into it and then decide. Uh, crossblade. Ooh, crossblade is that item. Ooh, we're gonna most likely go crossblades. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and see you guys around.